Okay, so we've made this element. Now we can just copy it two times and replace the contact. Uh, we can do this in several ways. So for example, to select several objects at the same time, you can just click and drag a box so that it touches all of them. And now if I click and move, all three boxes move at the same time. I'm going to undo. Uh, and if you don't want to do this every time, you can just right click and group those objects. And now even if you click off of them and then click back, they're still going to be grouped together. Um, I'm going to ungroup them. The other way in which you can uh, select several objects at the same time is just to hold the shift key. So I'm going to click on this and then hold shift and click on this box and both of them are selected. The problem is with the third one because uh, because it's under these two I can't click it. I'm going to keep selecting and deselecting this bigger box. So to go through a stack of objects you can hold control and you're going to select them in order every time you click. So the first time I click I'm going to select the big one the second time I click, I'm going to select the one underneath and it goes down as you do this. So I have the smaller one selected and now I can hold shift to select the bigger one and another shift to select the image. And I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing and just make sure it's aligned in the corners here. I have a bit of a special situation but let's see if I can manage to if I pay close attention to select to to place that blue dot in the center of the corner there right on the intersection and that's gonna be fine that's gonna make everything aligned nicely yes this is because of how I set up the line of the boxes I don't have to do this but let me show you quickly the kinds of lines that you can have. So I'm going to select this box and go to the stroke panel here. If you don't have it, you can go to window and you have stroke. And you see you have this, uh, this align stroke list here. And now the stroke is aligned to the center of the line. So basically the blue line has black both on the outside and on the inside. You can allow align it to the inside. That this is often easier for uh, aligning objects around the grid, or you can align it to the outside. Most important part is to use this consistently. So I could go here and align everything to the inside, uh, but then I also need to do this here and. Actually, I should move all of these together. So just make a box and zoom back in here. Make sure this is exactly. So now I have it exactly properly set up. And I am going to copy it once again. Just select everything. And this time I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and drag this and hold Shift to force it to be horizontal. And now everything is nicely aligned. I just need to change the content. So for the images, it's simple. I'm just going to drop an image here and move it so it's aligned in such a way that I can actually see the face. And I can do this in another way. I can just uh, select this box and uh, choose place then either from the file menu or so which is here or hit control d on the keyboard and choose this other one at and it will replace that file i just need to resize this now and i'm going to come back to this option right click fitting fill frame proportionally control alt shift c uh, now I'm going to change the text in 
pieces. So first, just double click here and paste this. And then everything with the inverted commas is on this line. And I actually think 16 is a bit. Yes, this should actually be 13. So I'm going to select it here. Change it to 13. And do this here as well. Make sure I write it properly. And this looks weird, right? The first line is much longer than the second line. It's better for these kinds of titles to be balanced. And you can see this here as well. So I'm just going to come in here and before this word, I'm going to hold shift and hit enter. This does not create a new paragraph. So it's the same unit of text, but it sends the text to the next line. Unlike enter, which also creates a new paragraph. And there are a lot of situations where there's a pro that's a problem. So just hold shift enter. And here again, replace this text and this other one and then select it and move it back to 13 points and maybe this one's a bit more balanced as well yes like this it's nicely rectangular and that's what we have here too and i also need to change the page numbers so remember to get to that box, I need to hold control on the keyboard and click again. And now that it's selected, I can double click it. And this here is 17. And here again, the same thing, control and click and double click to get to the text and 11. And now this is all nicely set up and where it should be.